Hey, what's going on guys? John here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be giving a little bit of love to the older devices with Touch ID. Now I know with Face ID being the more prominent authenticator, we are feeling a little bit left out if we own a device such as these. So this is the iPhone 7 and this is the iPhone 6S over here. Now both of these have second generation Touch ID and if you guys aren't aware, there are first generations out there like the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 6, which is extremely slow compared to these. these these ones are pretty much instantaneous, but we are going to be comparing and seeing which one is faster, one on iOS 14.7 and the other on iOS 15 beta. Now honestly, I haven't really tested this out, but I don't expect there to be a much of a difference. There isn't really anything faster than Touch ID in terms of authentication with your fingers, so it's pretty much immediate, but I do want to go through the entire process with you guys and see how quickly it completes, and then we're going to go through the unlocking phase and see how quickly it can get us into the home screen. All right, now if you guys aren't familiar with this process here, it's fairly simple with Touch ID devices. All you need to do is head on inside Touch ID and passcode screen. We're gonna hit the add fingerprint right here which is gonna ask us to lift and rest your finger on the home button repeatedly. All right, so pretty much as the text says, all you need to do is just place your finger on the ID reader, and then this should pretty much fill it up completely with red. Once that's done, you will be prompted a second time, but we're gonna get to that in a few seconds here. Now, before I do it too many times and complete the entire process, I'm gonna pick up the iPhone 7 here, and we're gonna compare and see how quickly it reads our fingerprints. All right, now that both the devices are in my hands, we're gonna click add Add a fingerprint here and then we're gonna just place our finger or thumb onto the reader and see how fast it picks it up I'm just gonna do it really quickly here on both and see if any of them gives us a prompt saying we need to do it again so here we go now both at the exact same time came up with the message to try cover the entire home button with your finger this just means that we are going a little bit too quickly but let's try that again here so we got it on the iPhone 7, which is on iOS 15. And on the iPhone 6 here, we don't have that prompt yet. So it actually seems like we finished it a little bit quicker on iOS 14.7 versus iOS 15. But we're going to try it one more time here. It's telling us to adjust our grip. So let's do it at an angle. And here I can feel that the iPhone 6S is doing a little bit quicker on iOS 14.7 but I'm not exactly sure as both of them pretty much finished at the exact same time. All right, so both of them are completely done. We have three fingers on each one and this should pretty much get us in as I have one of the other ones being my thumb as well. Now, if you guys aren't aware of this because you're running a Face ID device, there is a neat feature inside here which will highlight which finger you guys have set and it will actually tell you if it is compatible or not. So uh, resting our finger, you can see that finger three is being highlighted and then add sometimes finger two as well because I did set that being my thumb as well. So yeah, it's pretty easy to do and I actually prefer it over the face ID setup process. It just seems so much easier putting your fingers down versus having to roll your head around a couple times. All right, so now once we are done, it's fairly simple to test this out. All you need to do is just lock the device and press the home button. So then it jumps us straight inside to the settings screen we'll try that one more time here extremely quick and see how fast it gets us inside as soon as I tap I let go it jumps me right in now let's try that on the iPhone 7 running iOS 15 here and see how quickly this takes us back into the home screen now in terms of consistency I've noticed that is not as consistent as iOS 14.7 clicking it sometimes actually says try again or ask you to enter your pin so as you guys can see right here I had to enter my pin I'll just click on it again and we should jump back in but if we try it again here there are a couple times where it does ask us to enter the passcode instead of jumping us inside I'm not sure if it's just the setup phase not being too well recognized with my finger or it's just that iOS 15 is not as good compared to iOS 14.7. But yeah, this pretty much concludes it, guys. I think iOS 14.7 is still better than iOS 15 in terms of just overall performance, overall everything. But I'm really going to have to test that out. As of right now, I'm not really seeing a difference between Touch ID, but I'm seeing a tiny difference uh, that could just be because I set it up incorrectly. But... I think you guys should stick around with iOS 14.7 for now until iOS 15 is official. Anyways guys, this should wrap it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys did, please hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell notification so a new video you guys will be reminded of. But this should be it once again. Peace out.